Hello again, folks. Steve Grisetti, co-founder of MoviePix.com and author of the MoviePix.com Guide to Adobe Photoshop Elements. And here we are in Photoshop Elements Part 4 of our eight-part basic training for Adobe Photoshop Elements. A real common thing to do with photos is to cut elements or people from one photo and paste them into another. We learned in our last session about selections and selecting. Let's see how well Select Subject works on this picture did a really good job. The only place where it missed it is under the armpit here where it grabbed a little bit too much because there wasn't enough distinction between the white shirt and the white background. We can fix that pretty easily. So let's hold down the Alt or Option key. I'm going to go over here to, let's see if we can do it with the free hand. And with the free hand tool, I'm just going to draw in that area here and deselect it. And that's perfect. Now this guy is selected. We got a little bit extra over here on the side. We'll remove that also. deselect it and now he's nicely selected we could get very precise i actually see one more thing i'm sorry up here his helmet wasn't fully selected so i'm going to hold down shift and just draw so shift to add and then the option or alt key to remove that's pretty good that's good enough here for our purposes now if i wanted to add him to this scene over here i could just at this point control x or command x to cut him grab this picture and control V to paste them in there. And then I can use the selection tool over here on the left from the toolbar to position him, maybe resize him to fill the picture and I'm done, right? And that's one way to do it, but he doesn't really fit into this picture nicely. There's a different color tone to the background. Uh, he's lit differently and it's not really a clean fit. It would work in a pinch, but that's not what we want to do here. So I'm going to delete that. And you notice, by the way, if I go over here to the layers button in the lower right hand corner, so I can see the layers that anything you paste into a new picture comes in as a new layer. Okay. So I can move him around because he's actually on a new layer and the background is behind him on a separate layer. Let's delete that layer. I just press the delete button with it selected and said, yeah, remove that layer. And over here, I'm going to control Z or command Z to undo my cut. And I'm also going to deselect him by control D or command D to turn off the selection. Rather than do this manually, I'm going to go to guided edits at the top of the screen. And from the photo merge category of guided edits, I'm going to select photo merge compose. And I'll show you why I chose to do this and why there are advantages to this in just a moment. So this is the image I want to extract. I'm going to drag it onto here. We'll make a selection. I'm going to do that by using the quick selection tool. And it teaches me to do that or it told me to do that just by painting over the image. And it is grabbing things based on color. And it's doing a pretty good job here of selecting the man. We've got a little more than we needed. So we can either use these buttons over here on the right, or I can just hold down the alt key and I can remove some of that selection too. We'll see how much of this we can do with this single tool. See, now we're getting into an area. I'm going back to shift because I want to add certain things and remove other things. I don't want to spend too much time doing this for the demonstration, but you see how it works. All right, so now we've got the man selected more or less, and now we can go to the next step, which is advanced edge refinement. And if I select that, I can do some things here to refine the edge, and this is pretty cool. I'm not going to go into it right now, but you can actually get really precise with what is selected and what isn't with some of the tools that are available in here. I cover that much more in my book. So let's cancel that. Okay, so we've got our selection and we're pretty happy with that. Let's click on the next button here because our next step is going to be to select the background, which it automatically knew was the other picture I had open. It put my guy in here, but I want you to notice something a little bit distinct here. Although it looks like this man was cut and pasted into this picture, he's not. There's something else going on here and I'll show you in just a moment. We'll just enlarge him a little. And once he's the size that we want him to be, we'll click the check mark here and that'll lock that in. Now, Photo Merge Compose did not just simply cut this picture out and then put it into the new picture, but this area behind this man is still here. It's only masked. What's the advantages to it being masked? I can still remove and add parts of the other picture. Look, if I select hide, I can paint over things I don't want. If I select reveal, when I paint, look what I see. I'm going to widen that by clicking on brackets closed to make that paintbrush larger. And I could have done that using the sliders too. 
But when I paint, I'm actually painting back in that picture. I'm just removing the mask actually. So the background, everything we cut out before is still there. Let me control Z or command Z to undo that. And if I want to hide elements, if I cut too much out, I can do that, but I'm simply painting a mask rather than actually cutting away and throwing away parts of the picture. And there's a real advantage to doing that. Now you can make this edge softer so that it's more feathery. Right here you can see it's, it's very soft as it paints over or paints the mask, or I can make that very hard like this, in which case I get a really hard line as I paint. It's pretty cool. This is very, very powerful. When I'm done, I click next and look, I have the option to set up an auto color match tone. So the background here is a sunset. The original picture was taken in a bright sunny day. When I click auto match, the program is going to automatically look at the color tone of the picture and make them match up. And it will really look like the guy is there on a sunset. Look at that. It brought out the orange and the yellow of the sunset in this picture. And so now he looks more naturally blended into the background. That's very nice. That's one of the advantages of using guided edits. Sometimes several tools are buried within one workspace and you can create a really nice picture using cut and paste, but actually using photo merge compose to create a really cool composition, putting somebody or something into a scene where he wasn't really there. So pretty cool. Anyway, in part five, we'll take a look at some of the other cool tools that are available here in Photoshop elements. I hope you'll join me for part five.